Iranian medical students must must learn Islamic medicine. So let's see the new summary. The summary says all students of medicine, dentistry, and pharmacology in Iran must take courses in Islamic or traditional medicine. The health ministry has announced. Are you fucking serious? I didn't even I didn't even notice. This decision comes as the outbreak of COVID-19 caused more concerns in Iran about untrained people advocating traditional medicine. This includes a self-proclaimed prophetic medicine man drinking camel urine as, as a cure all and another Islamic doc Islamic doctor doctor in quotes advising people to insert a cotton ball dipped in violet uh, violet oil into their anus <laughs> okay. at, at night to protect against coronavirus okay. <laughs> what the fuck is... yeah iranian doctors have often complained about advocates of traditional medicine who interfere in in the treatment of patients and often bring more harm to people in need of consistent scientific medical approach. Okay, so we were just before this talking about how ridiculous how Hinduism seems more ridiculous than some other religions. We should take that back, right? Like, I mean, these Muslims are competing with cow, cow uh, yeah. urine. The, the Hindus have their cow urine. The, this guy has their camel urine. Uh, and this is, is I it, mean, is putting, shoving, thing? shoving cotton, violet oil drip, dipped cotton up your ass to fight COVID nineteen. I mean, can you even make this? I mean, if you if you were coming with a comedy like script, if somebody came up with that, people are like, this is not even funny because it has to be somewhat realistic. This like it has to be close to reality for it to be funny. Like you wouldn't even think this is is this like the real world. And the okay, he, the issue is like I knew about these all these like so called Islamic doctors uh, in Iran competing with actual doctors in what to do versus COVID nineteen, and it seemed like a whole bunch of people were calling it out and saying like. Uh, I mean, it's, these people are causing, you know, causing people's lives, not just with COVID-19. For a very long time, a lot of people are like, my medical doctor said this, but my Islamic doctor says something else. And people are like saying, like, maybe we should like, these people are more ancient. They have been around longer. They know more. This is like a, try, a tried and tested method. But there's there's some there's some wisdom in that. So maybe we should take that seriously. And with this whole COVID-19 stuff, what it did, it brought that confrontation to a whole um, great bigger level. But the problem with the actual doctors was a lot of them wanted to call out this bullshit, but they couldn't be so direct about it. Because like, they want to tell people like this is the actual med like medicine, but they had to be very careful of not coming off as anti-Islamic. So it's really hard when the doctors want to go scream and tell people like this is bullshit, but they also don't want to be careful not to say something that could get them go to jail or have their license removed. Um, and it's really scary that they can't, like a lot of them can't just come out and tell that to people. But the the problem is when the when some of these religious actual medical doctors they come and say, well, there's wisdom to both of these. Like, and then the people who are like Muslim, they're listening, like, oh my god, this guy is that who is actually a medical doctor, he's telling us to also listen to that Islamic medicine stuff. So there must be something to it. That makes it very dangerous. And now this is a dangerous on a much higher level when you have the fucking what is this ministry? Of what medicine, health, medical ministry of I had the health ministry announcing that the doctors actually have to be trained in Islamic tradition. That is, that is so. I mean, I don't know how far this has gone if it's actually going to be implemented, but this is going to cost lives. This is, 
unbelievable. But anyways, Rifka, I know you unmuted yourself, so you want to say something. You know what you were saying about costing lives? Um, I saw this happen in Morocco. Um, a family friend, uh, her mother was um, having a stroke or some something, something serious. And um, her dad was just taping verses from Quran to her forehead. And he should have been taking her to the hospital because this after stroke, it's really important. The faster you get there, the better your recovery time is. But he was wasting all this time taping Quranic verses and playing Quran and all these things until finally her brother came and took her. And it had a lot really negative impact on her because she didn't recover as well. And this is exactly this kind of thing. He was like, oh, this will work. You know, God's going to intervene. I don't need to take her to the hospital. And I just keep playing Quran. He kept putting verses on her, taped verses on her forehead. So, yeah, it has a real life dangerous consequences. When people oh. are depending on this kind of medicine or these, you know, kind of magic rituals instead of actual real doctors, hospitals, things like that. So another godless atheist is saying, but they have normal doctors that administer regular modern medicine, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, in fact, I mean, in Iran, there's a, uh, there's a lot of fields in medicine that, that, that they are very advanced in, in Iran. Um, some fields are lower, but this, especially because it's very profitable in Iran to be a doctor. So that's a field that has gone into, I mean, there's, there's a lot of research papers that comes out of Iran as well, which makes it even sadder that, that is now being infected by this Islamic, this whole field of medicine, which is pretty good in Iran relatively i mean not even relatively in general it's pretty good i mean my dad is a um, heart surgeon in iran and the the, the that whole field and including my dad they, they do publish a whole bunch of academic uh you know even the 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 scientific you know the sci the science field not just the practicing doctors but also the ones that actually do the research and publish papers they have had major um contribution to the scientific literature that gets published in U European, um, you know, scientific journals and other places that really does, from a scientific perspective, they make a lot of difference, which means like, this is a huge cost. Like the, what Islam is doing right now is infecting a respected field of, you know, study like the scientific community in iran is now being infected by the islam virus which is going to be very costly i mean imagine having to like the medical okay so when i was in university in iran our understanding like we have every every department in the university has its own section like we were i was in the biology section there was like social studies in one corner and a whole bunch of other places fields the medical students were recognized in the in the university as people with zero life like these people had so much studying to do that nobody would be able to see them like they were so they were always occupied with what, how much work they had to do, and it, their life was just study, 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 and you know the rest of us had some life, but they had no lives, right? Because they had, they were so much under pressure to be able to pass all their whatever they had to do. But imagine, I mean, the standards for for medical for being able to pass as a medical doctor in Iran is pretty high, uh, especially in you know. In public universities, um, but imagine now adding to hold that high standard. Now adding like, oh, let's add Islamic medicine to that, and let's waste your time with having to study that. 
and have and make you, forcing you to acknowledge that this is a legitimate field of study. Like imagine the consequences of that. Imagine all that high standards and all that respect for science now being corrupted by this nonsense. Like this is a this is a fucking disaster. Michael. I could have been a doctor, but I got an F in violet oil up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, yes. That's good. <laughs> All right. Uh Shopham, did you wanna mention something before I look at the comments? I was I was just saying like this is directly inspired from what's happening in India. Even the government came out and said, Oh, stop your medicine and go do some research on cow urine. The government actually came out and said that in India. So this is like, stupid. And this is... Did you see that um, this guy, Abbas Tabrizi, Tabrizian, uh, he uh, burned a copy of the um, Harrison's Manual of Medicine in Com in January? He's got no, all these followers oh. in Iran. Oh. He, this guy who he's considered the father of Islamic medicine. He um, burned this copy of uh, Ma Manual of Medicine. It was in Com in January. And that, that's the guy who is in the picture in the front, oh, apparently. I yeah. See. So, yeah. And. Um, oh, yeah, this guy. Yeah. And he says that, I like, Islamic medicine has made, like, this um, medical manual irrelevant. Wow. By the way, Rivka, today we had a lot of people in the live chat telling you how cool you are and how right you are and how knowledgeable yeah. you are. So you got see, this is what we get from not having Susanna here. We get all the compliments. Maybe we shouldn't invite her back. <laughs> Maybe we no, have but... to have like one day a month <laughs> with kidding. no Susanna. No, we love Susanna. We're kidding. We know. We're just intimidated by how popular she is. That's the problem. That's because the... she's so young. <laughs> yeah. Well, Chopin's young too, though. Yeah. It's... Yeah, I'm just well, kidding. Well, thank you, we everybody. You. Thanks. Yeah, yeah doc uh, Dr. Robert Persian is saying, yes, Rivka is right. Uh, Surrey is saying Rivka is cool. And there was yeah one person up there was mentioning uh, you're very yeah I mean Rivka is, when it comes to Jew and Israel related stuff Rivka is very knowledgeable uh, but then we noticed that that's just not the only thing she's knowledgeable about like every single other thing um, when it comes to like Islam Christianity Hinduism she seems to have like done does a lot of she has a lot of background knowledge. Thank you. Is, I'm gonna yeah. blush. <laughs> oh. Thank All right, uh, Michael Sherlock is, is saying Susanna is way better than Armin. Well, that's true, but that's the good thing is that as somebody who founded Aces Republic, one thing I do well is to find people who are better than me in certain things and bring them on board. So kudos, kudos to me for finding such great people. See, see how I turned a compliment to Susanna and turned that a compliment to a compliment about me. That, <laughs> that takes some skills. All right. Anyways, guys, that was. But don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description. And please, please also like, subscribe, and share this video because YouTube and Facebook algorithms work against us. So we need your help to start keep growing because. The things that we say are not the things that are friendly to the algorithm. So what that means is that we don't get recommended. We don't show up on people's feeds. And that those are the things that are needed for a channel to grow. And because of the topics that we cover, we don't benefit from any of that. So we really do need you guys to like, comment, and share our videos so that we can actually grow. Um, and again, if you subscribe to our newsletter, which link is in the description, the reason why that's important is because a lot of people are trying to remove us from Facebook and YouTube. And sometimes they get very close. And we need to be able to reach to you guys if we ever get removed. So please subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description. And yeah, thank you guys for your support. And join, join the new Discord server. Link oh, yeah, we have chat. a Discord server. Yes, thank you, Shopam. Uh, link it to our Discord server. 
uh, Discord server is in the description as well. Uh, Michael is saying, great show as usual. Uh, Vibrantly is saying, you all rock. Wow, thank you, guys. Another godless atheist is saying, see you all next week. Thanks again, Atheist Republic. Ben Rogers is saying, great, great show. Thank you, guys. Wow, that's very nice. Very good. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 